there, travelers. Happy Halloween! This week we're gonna take a little time to celebrate. I even have my candy basket. I got some licorice in here. Ooh, a little bit of chocolate, my favorite. And, ah! I think I saw a creature in there. It was between four to 11 inches long, and it had eight legs. I don't think it's anything to be scared of, though, if it's this week's animal, the tarantula. There simply isn't one tarantula, however. Arachnophobias beware. There's over 850 species of tarantula. They're mainly found in tropical, subtropical, and the desert areas of the world, and most of them are found in South America and even Texas. Tarantulas are among the world's largest spiders. They vary in size and in color depending on their species and where they're located. They weigh between one to three ounces, which is about the size of an apple. Ah! There are spiders everywhere! When prey comes at striking distance of the tarantula, it'll sneak up behind it and attack by grabbing the prey with its eight legs. It then paralyzes its victim with its venom and finishes it off with its veins. After the prey is dead, it'll inject it with digestive enzymes into the body, which liquefies it and makes it easier to eat. But don't worry, it's not really interested in humans. In fact, a bite wouldn't be much more painful than a bee sting. What? Then why did I order all these tarantulas? While many people are frightened of tarantulas, they actually have quite a bit to be afraid of as well. Their natural predators include snakes, lizards, and even wasps. The tarantula has a few defense techniques that help it avoid these much larger predators. One of these defense mechanisms is when a predator makes contact with the tarantula, its little hairs will fall off, which become really irritating to the predators. Last time I give a haircut to a tarantula, these hairs are awful irritating. They will also try to intimidate their opponent by making them appear much larger than they are by raising their front two pairs of legs. While tarantulas are molting, they can even replace internal organs. They can even grow lost legs or pedipalps, which are their short sensory appendages. Ooh! I wish I could grow back my hip! Something really interesting about tarantulas is that the female lives so much longer than the males. Scientists have found that females can live up to 30 years, while the males only really live to about seven years. Some people think that the tarantula is one of the grossest animals on planet Earth. But let me tell you something. Tarantulas are beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. And today, I wanna give some of them their due. I couldn't agree more. How should we do it? A fashion show. Duh. The Chilean rose hair tarantula. Often called rosy by arachnid enthusiasts, this Chilean spider is rich brown in color with pink tinged hairs. They can even grow to about five inches long. Next up, the tiger spider. Rare. This species has a leg span of about eight inches long. The tiger spider has enough venom to kill mice, lizards, small birds, and even snakes. It was found on the island nation of Sri Lanka. Next up on the runway, the cobalt blue tarantula. Under certain lights, these Southeast Asian tarantulas are bright, beautiful blue. Otherwise, they look black in any other setting. They're some of the most rare and aggressive species of tarantula. The Goliath bird-eating tarantula. This thing is a behemoth. Its leg span is about 12 inches or a foot long. And true to its name, it can eat birds. Although, that's not the bulk of its diet. Its favorite food is actually earthworms. It is native to northern areas of South America and the swamplands. Whoa! That was a crazy fashion show. With so many different species of tarantula, there's no one IUCN status for them. Some, including the peacock tarantula, are critically endangered, while others are doing okay in the wild. Although you may find them to be a little spooky or a little creepy, they're still a vital part of our ecosystem. If they all went away, it would seriously affect the way we live. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. If you want to learn even more about the different species of tarantula, visit TravsTravels.org or our Facebook and Twitter page. 
keep on traveling and happy Halloween. Spooky!